Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at the Dash to Trade token pre-sale following the launch just around 48 hours ago. So it's been a rocky one. I mean, there was a very, very small moment where it was around 60% up. And following that, we saw quite a big sell-off. So guys, I just want to kind of come back to you and report what's going on regarding Dash to Trade. So we are seeing a bit of a downtrend. I want to talk about some price objectives. And of course, it's easy to get really emotional in times of turmoil, especially when we're feeling a lot of fear, anxiety, and we're feeling a bit of frustration. So I do want to apologize that, of course, this is all speculation at the beginning, that it's not really gone the way we thought it would have. You know, Tower Doge did amazing. And then from there, we got very hopeful that others would also kind of replicate similar results. I mean, I still want to focus on the pre-sales, maybe not as much knowing that we are in a bear market and maybe the performance is suppressed at the moment. Um, maybe we could start looking at more meme coins where we're going to see a lot of DGENs get into those particular ecosystems. It could be more safe and sensible. So of course, you know, I'm down and I want to show you guys that I'm still heavily down. I'm still down, I think it's like $10,000 which is frustrating and it's not the best feeling, but we have to accept that this is our own responsibility and we know there is a risk for doing this particular thing. Everyone is, you know, we've all got a level of greed. We all share a level of greed. We all want to make X amount of money by, or within a particular time frame. So I think, you know, we can't always guarantee that something good is going to happen. And I was extremely bullish and I still am bullish long term. I just think um, you know, the last two days have been really, really rocky and we need to sort of, how do we navigate the emotions and what do we kind of do next? So looking at crypto bubbles, we can see things are looking really, really good. Um, I do want to say like, you know, I do feel bad and I do want to apologize for anyone that is feeling really frustrated right now, but this is the world of crypto and this happens all the time. Many major alts also correct between 90 and 99%. So it's not just pre-sales, but we have to sort of understand what's going on here. So looking at the altcoin industry, industry, the market, <laughs> we can see it's doing really well. Ethereum pumping over 1400, Bitcoin just sitting around 19K. Dash to trade, it's down 34%. So we're seeing a bit of an inverse relationship here. I'm not sure why we're not getting the volume that we need and should be getting. The good thing is that, of course, they have delivered the product. Like they said, the beta phase is here. And the next thing, we'll probably see the full alpha phase rolled out, which is, of course, very, very bullish as well. We don't know when that's going to happen, but at least they are getting the product and everything moving forward. We can see Dash Trade is 0.021 at the moment. Quite a lot of 24-hour trading volume. We're just not getting enough volume, in my opinion. There's not enough liquidity. There's not enough fresh eyes on this particular coin. If you look at Etherscan, we can see there's 12.4k holders. So, in my opinion, you know, this is bear market performance. When we looked at lots of pre-sales before in bull markets, and you know, when I was following lots of coins back in 2020, where we had the major alt seasons, a lot of these coins, meme coins and pre-sales, would be rocketing up to around 100,000 holders and beyond. So I think on the broader scale, there's also a large amount of, well, you know, globally in terms of the search volume, the global interest, the insane fear that we're seeing in the markets, the crazy recessions. I think every single sector and segment of cryptocurrency, as we do know right now, is deleteriously affected from things that we have no control of. So, yeah, I think it's very, very interesting. I think moving forward, be very careful when it comes to pre-sales. And please don't just like do anything I say because I'm a YouTuber and I like to make videos on this stuff. I do try to high, highlight these high value opportunities to you, but we don't know the future. So, you know, it's not financial advice. So remember, never risk more than you can afford to lose. I even overexposed myself on this particular pre-sale and it's annoying um, I'm going to get into the MetaMasters one, me mag, by telling myself this time, and I'm even going to let you guys know as well, because I was going to do it with Dash to Trade. I was so tempted to just dump the tokens at the beginning, but I felt honestly bad if I did that. But I'm going to let you guys know full on, and maybe you can even deploy the same strategy. I don't mind. Do what you want to. But I'm going to sell it instantly. If I see 50% profit, I am selling. I am being part of it. And another strategy, I mean, you could even look at the pre-sales and potentially buy in after they launch, if they do correct. So there's there's other ways to navigate around these launches as well. Um, looking in the beta, sorry, where are we actually? Let's look at the price analysis for Dash to Trade. We can see it's in a bit of a descending channel, um, which is typically a bearish continuation pattern. So you could assume 
Maybe there might be some negative continuation here. I mean, this is a symmetrical triangle here, which is a consolidation pattern. It'd be really nice to at least see a pump to the upside um, around here, which would be this resistance trend line here, and then would potentially get a breakout. Now, my technical targets are, I mean, I would happily just break even at this point because I want to move money into other places. I'm a quick mover. I don't want to hold for too long, and we don't know when the next bull market will initiate or when this could start pumping. But we can see that it's holding fairly nicely. So it is down, um, of course. We know that it's down over 50%, which is kind of not great. Um, but we can see here, you know, we are in a symmetrical triangle. So there's every chance that we could get a breakthrough, retest 0 0.025, and then get some continuation up. If you get to 0 0.047, take some profits, not financial advice, or even break even on the whole thing if you've got in that uh, pre sale phase one. If you want to take further profits, then you could be waiting for 0 0.064 and 0 0.061 um, as well. The bearish scenario here, guys, is that if Dasha Trade does lose the support of 0 0.019, there might be negative continuation down to around 0 0.006, which would be extremely bearish. But I do think the bulls would get in around 0 0.016. And I think there'd be massive buying pressure around 0 0.014 as well. The price will be held. I don't think there's much more downside potential. We just need to see more bullish momentum, more huge exposure for Dash to Trade, and more big partnerships that make big sense and draw in more eyes. So let's have a look. So far, you know, the accuracy has been around 50%, but we're still going to keep looking at these coins and follow up on IMPT and some other ones as well. Fingers crossed we can see some positive momentum here for uh, Dash to Trade. So, yes, guys, not been the greatest launch so far. Um, I do massively apologize to all of you sincerely. It does not feel good, especially looking through the Discord and all the messages. It's kind of hard to actually, um, you know, stay so, uh, what's the word, like appearing, shall we say, and just, you know, looking through all the messages it is not easy. It's not nice. Um, anyhow, I do understand why it's happening and I do appreciate the reasonings as to why you would be frustrated right now. So, yes. Let's try to stay positive. Let's be optimistic, guys, because it's just a bad week in crypto. Things will get better. Markets will recover. Our portfolios will grow stronger and stronger. So let's not try and be negative about this. Anyway, see you all soon. Take care and bye for now. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Get yourself down below to the Discord. And if you are feeling extra, extra risky, maybe a bit frisky, I don't know. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you guys like to do in your spare time. There are still pre-sale links down below. Do your own research, due diligence. Remember, it's not financial advice. Um, and of course, let's look at altcoins and other ways to grow in the markets during these downtrends. Anyways, take care, guys. Hope you're having a lovely day and have a blessed weekend coming up. Bye for now.